For the record, my name is Walin Christian. Born and raised, reside on Oahu. My auntie lost three of her properties in Lahaina. Fortunately for our family, they were not residing there, but they were renters. Now you guys may think that the public is a conspiracy theorist. They were cakey home by themselves that we have no account for. I speak on behalf of all the people, not just Kanaka, although I am Kanaka Maoli. What all of you have forgotten here, those who are volunteers, those who are nonprofits, those who are private companies, and those who are public servants, including the governor who walked out of this office before he could hear public hearing. Heva. You guys think of this as numbers for buildings, for money. What about the people? What about the families that have been destroyed by this fire? And for the record, I will say this. It was not a natural disaster. This emergency proclamation is a fall. And let me tell you why. Because all of the hearings you hear, all of the testimony you hear, all of the social media you hear, it connects the dots to what's happened in Lahaina. Lahaina was our first United Kingdom capital. Funny how all the common people were taken out in one fell swoop of a fire. Fire department, police department on Maui did nothing to get those people out. In fact, they blocked roads. And I can say that with a fact because the people in Lahaina testified to that. The sad thing that I have right now in my hand is this court document. You should not be having this meeting because it was filed. You should not be talking about Lahaina here as it was stated before. Where's the mayor of Maui? Even though this is a housing issue, that's the island he represents. I'm shaking right now. Because I look at this and if some of you are here really fighting for the people, mahalo. Speak up. Don't be afraid of the rest of the people here. Speak up. Mahalo, Tita. That's our people. And if this is just a money issue for you guys, get out of your seat. Please. Nani, you speak about talking to the people. Hold a meeting in Lahaina Civic Center or wherever they have room for and hear the people, hear their stories, hear their heartbreak, hear their, de their demise. You can turn that off because I'm not going to end until I end and I'm not being disrespectful. You cannot limit the people's voice to three minutes. This is devastation. From the day that fire went on here in Honolulu and all the other islands, the people are the ones who got the, the donations to them, the water, the food, the clothing. Guess what? Coast Guard, FEMA, trying to stop us from going in. While the people inside Lahaina is suffering. Yes, we found other ways to get them there. And I could go on and on with the people who showing themselves on social media. The celebrities, the president, come on. He couldn't even pronounce names correctly. Why was he here? A photo op or truly for the people? You folks here, should be asking the people what they need. Not the representative sitting in state legislature. The people. Unfortunately, and I'm gonna read this real quick, and this goes to the housing authority. Local authority housing or council housing is housing you can live in that is owned by the local authority. No, it should be owned by the people. You have to apply for local authority housing. Your council will assess your needs and decide if you are high priority. Every person in Maui is a high priority right now. There is tons of land in Maui. Why move them to the Big Island? Now you stress Big Island people. Now you take away from Big Island people. There are Maui people who came to Honolulu. I have a friend in here right now, Jessica, who housed Maui people. But yet we got no help. We got no help from the government. But that's how we do in Hawaii. We help. We take care. 
Correct, as Al said, malama. Please don't make this a job, which all of you obviously have, without, besides those that are really trying to fight for the people. Make this your mission to get these people back on their feet. There's been lots of so-called celebrities saying that they're giving $100 million, all these millions of dollars. Where's the money? The money should not be going into Hawaii Community Foundation or any other foundation. That money should be going directly to the people. Do you know that with that $100 million, you can bring in lumber? And all the people who lost their homes, I guarantee you, majority of the men were construction workers. They can go in. Hawaiian Homestead, I'm, a, I'm on the list. I'm on the top of the list. Hawaiian Homestead, they do a self-help building, which lessens their mortgage. Why not do that? Pull these guys in. Bring their morale back up because they just lost everything. They can help their community build. See, you guys think inside the box. We're thinking outside the box. It's not about money. It's not about money laundering. It's not about taking money from one program to the other so that you guys can collect the money. Take the money out of the limelight and put the people. The sad thing is, and I'm going to say this even though this might not directly deal with you folks, the officials on Maui have not yet thought about the people. They are thinking about backtracking, backpedaling, name gaming. They're blaming each other. So people are getting fired. People are resigning. Because the top of the line, the top of the chain, refuse to take responsibility. This is not about, oh, we're going to make a memorial. I wish he was here because I would tell him to his face. Lahaina is not about making a memorial. I saw on so much social media that the banyan tree was more important than the people. It's a tree. Yes, it is something that's been there for decades. But guess what? In a couple more decades, another tree will be there for a couple decades. It's not about making a memorial for the people. You want to do a memorial? Help the people rebuild. Get up on you guys' feet and move. Listen to the people because you know what? Our people have so much good ideas. And they're willing to put their hands back on there and help. Allow them to do it. Don't sit here in a round table and make decisions for the majority because you are very much the minority. And I am willing to sit at this table with you guys like the rest of us who are in this room right now and many more who are on the screen. Many more from Big Island, from, from Maui, from Kauai, from Honolulu, and even from Molokai. I have family in Molokai as well. As Soon as the fire went on, I called. Get venison, dry it, send it over to Maui. That's how Kanaka Maoli runs. We live off the land. I myself prefer Safeway, but we live off the land. Open the doors, Nani. Open the doors. You know right now you are targeted because of what they see what's going on. Open the doors. Let the people speak. Let the people do. I grew up in housing. Halava housing to be exact. Don't put the people back into a poverty level. They're, emotionally and mentally, they're already beat because of this fire. You throw them into a little town in housing, you are the one who's going to make their demise. They will have no hope. That's why we stand here in Honolulu. And I agree with the sentiment. This meeting should not be here. It should be in Maui. Mahalo. Mahalo for sharing your thoughts. You are right, I am targeted, and I would hope that my actions speak for themselves as I do this work, as I've done my work before. I know the messages that are out there on social media. I know what people are saying and spreading. This is why, in part, we are having public testimony right now. This is why, in part, I have said we will have meetings on Maui, and I welcome your input, along with uncles, and I don't know where the other person went, but... Yes, we will keep listening and talking with you, and you will be involved in the efforts. Can I say one thing before he speaks? So if you want to hear from the people, stop making meetings last minute. Because the people couldn't fly from Maui. They don't have money. Everything was lost. Bring it back to where 
bring it back to where the travesty is. That's on Maui. Understand. I have no problem flying up to Maui. My family is from Maui. Like every other Kanaka, we get family on every single island. Mahalo, Tita, for fighting for the people. You have no idea how much that means for one person to stand up in front of all of this and stand for the people. Many, many Keakua's blessings on you. Man, this is sad. You let me know what you think about this in the comment section. I'm going to leave you with some update from Hawaii. This article was posted yesterday, September 3rd, and it says that the Lahaina fire is now 100% contained, but the death toll remain at 115. It's a sad situation happening in Hawaii. God bless you. God bless you for listening to this. God bless the people of Hawaii. God bless your family. Catch you on the next one.